Do the dolls in your dollhouse need some books to read? Today's video I'll show you how to make a book with, that really opens to show you the pages. It's up to you to put a fancy cover and write something. Stay tuned and I'll show you how easy this is. Right, you don't need a lot of materials for this project. You need a piece of computer weight like printer paper. And I actually went into my computer and let's see if I can make it a little bit wider. And just kind of see this. I went into one of the programs that I can draw lines on on my computer. And I set up a paper with a grid with lines a half inch apart. And I'm I'm used the rulers to make sure they were exactly a half inch. And that will make it easier for me to score my page then later. So I'll show you that in a minute. This is for your pages. You need cardstock for your cover. Any color, I've got this little stack. I got this at a craft store a long time ago. Just some heavy paper. You can use any color. If you want to get a, you could get a design off the internet to make your cover. We'll talk about that in a minute. You need a scoring tool because we're going to score all these lines. I can't find my dental pick this morning, so I'm using just a, a really tiny ball stylus. Anything with a really fine tip. You need a knife to cut your covers. We might need scissors. Depends on how things go. We need a cutting surface and a working surface. We need two kinds of glue. We need a glue stick and we need tacky glue. And we need a clip because um, we're going to have to clip the pages together and we need a straight edge to measure and to mark and to hold our stuff straight. So let me get started, let me get this cleared away and we'll get set up to work. Alright, the first step will be to score this paper. Let's see if I can do this so that you can see what I'm doing and I can still see what I'm doing. That's always a trick. And I like to score the whole page before I get started. Use whatever scoring tool you're using Line your ruler up and just follow those lines. I printed my lines just in gray, so I'm off that line a little bit. Normally I work towards myself, but I'm trying to work so that the camera can see, so I can't really tell if I'm on the line because the ruler's in my way. But you get the idea. You're going to score the whole sheet, and I've got another sheet already scored. Just score all the lines nice and straight and as close to being on those lines as you can. The line side will be on the back. Now we're going to cut a strip. And I'm making my pages three-fourths of an inch. So I'm lining the three-fourths inch line up with my ruler. And this is just an inexpensive ruler. So I go ahead and cut with it. I'm going to have to dump it pretty soon and get a new one because I've taken gouges out of it. But. it off. And then we are going to fold. And that's okay because this will glue back together. We're going to start with the first fold away. And we're just going to fold on these lines. And just do an accordion fold all the way down using that scoring that you did to help you to fold straight and crisp. And you want to really smush this together as you go. Because you want these pieces, these pages, to really adhere. And we're just going to go all the way down. And I've got one here I've already done. This one's all done. I'm making a whole bunch of books, so I've got the whole sh couple of sheets of paper ready. And then what I did was I went in and I trimmed the end sheets so they're the same size. Now keeping these two ends free, we are going to move this for just a second. I'll have to have it back in a minute. But I want to glue this. Now I don't want glue here or here because these are going to hold on to the inside of our book. So we take our glue stick. This is one of the few places I use glue stick. I just get this all covered in glue stick. 
and be sure that you've already pre-folded before you put the glue on because I tried to take a shortcut a while ago and do one and it did not work. Now refold your book. Now if you want your book to be thicker, you can put more strips together. That's okay. However many you want. You can make a thicker book or a thinner book. The thickness of your book is determined by how many pages you put in it. Try and get this nice and straight. And it will try to not be straight. And then we clip, clamp it together. And uh, this happens to be one of those little clamps that you get at the dollar store for the top of a bag of chips. A clothespin works, whatever clamp you have. Now while that dries, get our cutting board out again. And I want to cut a strip off of my paper that's just a hair over the size of my page. So just a barely more than three-fourths of an inch. Take that off. Now, we need to score this, and again, just a hair more than our page, so that our cover is just a little bit bigger. You can do the same size if you want. I'm going just, just barely over, I hope. Again, score it. And I know from playing with mine that they're just not even an eighth of an inch thick on that pages. So go a little space over and again score. And now from that last score line, just a hair over the half inch, and we'll cut this up. There, that's our cover. Now we're going to fold this get rid of the cutting board so it's not in our way. And I like to use the edge of my straight edge to fold because I get a nice crisp line. And now we've got a cover. Now I've got my pages. And they don't have to be all the way dry. If they're really crooked, I can go ahead and trim them. These will be okay. Now I take my tacky glue. Then we put the glue in here. If you've got a toothpick to spread the glue with, great. If not, it's not a big deal. You can do this with your finger or just kind of however you need to. And then put our pages, making sure that these flaps are the same way as the cover. Centering this. And you've got a book with pages. Now, you can get fancy. You could actually write something in your book. I'd let it dry first. Once they get dry, they're like this. You could actually write something in your book. You could scan off or print off a cover of a book that you want this to look like it is. You could design your own book cover. It's really up to you. You can change the size. You could do these in bigger or smaller scales. However you want to do it, it's your project. So I hope you had fun with this, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.